but I don't believe staying in Forte should be a reason why you um, you empower other women. You can empower your roommates, you can empower a woman you just see on the streets. Like, just keep uh, giving support whenever I can. Welcome to the third episode of In The Zone, where we interview student leaders, change makers, and entrepreneurs at the University of Rochester. This is a great opportunity for you to get to know our community and get inspired along the way. My name is Vlad Kazak, and I'll be your host for today. On this episode, we have our guest Forte Campus and their leaders, Vanchika, Zagadu, and Anna. Forte Campus at Rochester is a pre-professional organization acting as a chapter of the Forte Foundation, a not-for-profit national organization that brings businesses and business schools together on a mission to empower women and launch them into fulfilling and significant careers. As a Forte chapter, they strive to bring exceptional resources, events, and leadership opportunities to the undergraduate population. And they've been doing this since 2017, following their mission on three pillars, mentorship, education, and networking. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to In The Zone. Why don't we just go around and introduce ourselves? Uh, hello, guys. My name is Agadu, and I'm a sophomore majoring in computer science and finance. Hi, I'm Vanchika, and I'm a sophomore majoring in finance. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a junior and I'm majoring in business analytics. Cool. Nice to have you here. So let's hear more about Forte Campus. Uh, let's start with this one. Why is empowering women in business important to you? I think for me, uh, empowering women goes back to when I was little. Uh, since I was little, I used to play sports, but I come from a country where stereotypically it's not really well seen. Like, like girls playing sports wasn't like what people were trusting, investing and supporting. So I always had to do that and try to ways to succeed within my passion, like by myself. And I just thought that I wanted to change something. I wanted to like make an impact in which girls always could follow their passions regardless of their cultural backgrounds. So that's why for me, I like to put together my passions to making an impact. Uh, so I thought like, I, that's something I want to grow up with within any field I go to. If I'm passionate for something, make sure that women, just as men, has like the same have the same opportunities to actually pursue what they want, regardless of their gender. That's why empowering women is just something that I carry with me in everything I do. And you've all been part of Forte for for a little bit at this point, and all of you hold yeah. leadership positions now yeah. uh, in the organization. How how did Forte change you? Uh, since I joined Forte, I felt like I've met a lot of inspiring women, whether it be other students on campus or women working in like the uh, professional field. And I think it was very uh, nice to see that women actually support other women so much. And that is something that is very special to me. And because of Forte, I have started to follow that more. That's great. So Forte is relatively new on this campus, right? So where do you see Forte at University of Rochester in the next 10 years? I feel like we've made so much progress in two years because right now we are two year old. Mm -hmm. And in two years we have managed to organize two conferences and have many workshops, invite EY on campus. I see Forte big. I see it as a place that will offer like very well uh, equipped experiences to women to know that they feel like safe to grow and seek challenges within their career journeys. Um, so what current projects are you working on right now? One of our recent projects was our conference called Academic Diversity on Campus. So we wanted to bring on campus women who not necessarily studied business, but who ended up in the business world. We even launched a mentorship program providing people with the opportunity to have a mentor from the Simon Business School to guide them in their uh, career endeavors or any other advice they need. It's great. Um, and as all of us are aware, college at some point comes to an end. So yeah. wh what's the plan afterwards? How do you plan to stay involved with Fort and how you support to support its mission uh, long after you leave this campus? I feel like uh, Forte has provided me with a network of women that I can support and who can support me. But I don't believe staying in Forte should be a reason why you um, you empower other women. You can empower your roommates. You can empower a woman you just see on the streets. Like just keep. Uh, giving support whenever I can. Wondering, you recently had an experience with, with iZone in, in one of our consulting practice. How yeah. was that experience and how did I help you? 
It was great. <laughs> yeah, it was great. We had a workshop with Vika and Mike. And Mike. And uh, during this workshop, we actually came to um, solve some of the issues we had within the eboard, and they they just gave us good direction and ask us the right question in order for us to come up with solutions to our problem and i definitely recommend it to any other organization that wants to solve whatever is happening in the eboard i think what i like the most about it was definitely successful for us i yeah. think it changed a lot how we started our second semester yeah. but what i found one of the most beneficial things and like most helpful for us like we went there with many like uh, organizational problems let's say mm -hmm. and uh, I know like our workshop leaders had the, like a structured way of leading our meeting but just the way they tailored then like and they kept going with the workshop just like tailoring it to our needs it's something that was very valuable because yeah. you could see how proactive we there were, were they as they realized like oh okay this is actually where the problem is going on and how they change everything and restructure it in the moment mm -hmm. to actually we benefited the most from it. And I think that was very helpful. Yeah. Um, we're gonna move to the rapid fire section of the interview. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna present you with two options and we're just gonna rapid fire answer them all in order. Okay. Cool? Okay. You start all right. Um, LinkedIn or Twitter? I don't have Twitter, so LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn. LinkedIn. <laughs> uh, dresses or pants in a formal setting? Dresses. Dresses. Pants. Uh, food on campus, Peter or Douglas? None. <laughs> Fit. Doggy and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> one word to describe the person sitting to the left of you, and we're going to go from one to Zagadu at the end. Happy. Compassionate. Tough and strong. Oh, one word. <laughs> 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 so this was our interview with Forte Campus. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you next episode. Thank you so much. Thank you for so having us.